Prince Harry has been pictured overcome with emotion as he arrived back in Windsor following the death of his beloved grandmother, the Queen. The heartbroken prince looked distraught as he put his hand to his face as he was pictured in a car arriving back at the Queen's residence in Windsor. It comes after Prince Harry dashed to Balmoral on Thursday evening, having cancelled an appearance at a charity awards ceremony in London to join fellow royals who had gathered in the Aberdeenshire residence to be by the monarch's side. Harry was seen leaving Balmoral Castle in Scotland at about 8.15 am this morning, with the convoy passing flowers that had been laid in tribute to the late monarch. The grief-striken prince then boarded a British Airways flight at Aberdeen International Airport later. He was wearing a black suit and carried a shoulder bag as he walked towards the steps of the plane. The Duke was accompanied by a woman wearing a high-vis vest, whom he spoke with and at one stage he was seen placing his hand on her shoulder. The Sussexes, who were coming to the end of a whistle-stop visit to Europe when the Queen died, are expected to stay in the UK to attend the Queen's state funeral, which is likely to be held on September 19. They are expected to stay at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. The couple paid tribute to Her Majesty on their Archul website homepage, which has become a blacked-out landing page with the words, in loving memory of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. 1926 to 2022 following the death of the Queen. Harry and Meghan are left with Charles as king and head of the firm, and the Duke's brother Prince William elevated to the key role of heir apparent. While Harry and Meghan appeared to have invested their time developing their bond with the Queen, their relationship with Charles and William has been greatly troubled.